Hey guys, welcome back to an honest review. I want to start by saying thank you for all the support and from all the feedback that I've received from the comment section in my last video. It was nice hearing from some of you uh, watching my videos as usual. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like the video, subscribe if you enjoy the content, as well as comment down below if you agree or disagree with my opinion and let me know what's your go-to sipping tequila or favorite all-around drink. I'm always down to try something new and I have a few ideas for upcoming videos, thanks to those of you who commented in my recent videos. Uh, last time we did a tequila taste test, we tasted Addictivo Tequila, which is what I would consider to be one of the best bottles of tequila under $100, or the best bottle under $100, hands down. But today we're trying a tequila that is held to an extremely high standard, and has gotten so much attention from celebrities online, personalities, uh, tequila connoisseurs, all of them alike. And that bottle is Clas Azul. And according to their website, this magic Clas Azul is not limited to the quality of its tequila. Its beautiful ceramic decanter are molded and decorated entirely by hand by communities of Mexican artisans, making up each one of them a unique piece. And to be honest, I have to say that I completely agree with that statement. I think these decanters are absolutely beautiful, and no matter what I think of the taste of this bottle, when it comes to the end of the day, I'm definitely going to be keeping this decanter around due to its beauty. And for the low price of $120, this should be a very fair price for such a highly regarded tequila. And it's worth noting that the Rolling Stones ranked Clas Azul as the 14th in their 15 top tequila list saying, if Casamigos is what you serve at your parties, Clas Azul is what you break out for the selected few invited to stick around after the crowd leaves. This may be one of the priciest options on our list, but this top shelf tequila is worth the premium price. So if that's not enough media hype, Forbes magazine also reported that Clas Azul is such a hit that they are focusing on expanding past tequila and making a hotel in Guadalajara, Mexico. As stated by the CEO, Arturo Lomeli, um, as we move further into experiences and hospitality, a hotel is naturally the next step, says Lomeli. We've been working on a concept for some time, and we want to make sure that property really exemplifies Mexican luxury. We want our guests to feel like they have entered paradise, leaving with a renewed sense of what Mexican luxury really means. And I don't know about you, but I think this bar has been set extremely high uh, for this tequila and definitely excited to crack this bottle open. So without further ado, I'm going to go grab some ice and pour myself a glass. All right, so we're back. Uh, it's time for the taste test. I have the tequila right here. Um, I'm excited. I'm not really sure what to expect because it's so highly regarded. Um, like, like I said before, Addictivo, never really heard about it. I had one sip and I was like, this is, this is heaven. So let's give it a shot. So I, I get a lot of like, when it comes to smell, a lot of vanilla, definitely made in an oak cask. It's maybe some orange. Give it a shot, see how it is. Okay. Give one more sip in. So, first things first. It's smooth. It's I'm trying to find the right words for it. It's good. I think Addictivo actually at a lower price point is better. Like almost night and day. This is this is the kind of drink that I can sit down, I can have it, but it's not 
It's not where it's at. This is... Honestly, I, I have a little bit of a throat burn from this. Um, a little throat hit. The flavor is okay. It's not as good as I was expecting. It's not bad, but it's definitely not. It's not the best. I think... I don't know. I'm going to keep the bottle. The bottle's beautiful. The flavor of this, I'm, I'm giving this like a, a 6. 6 out of 10. The, the Addictive, though, I'm pretty sure I gave an 8. 90% sure I gave it an 8. Maybe a 9. This this isn't doing it for me. I'll, I'm going to finish this glass, but it's it's not doing it. Yeah. 6. Actually, no. 6.5. Doesn't deserve a 6. I don't know. I think... I wouldn't start with this tequila for the night. I think it would get better as the night goes on. Because I think the majority of drinks get better as you're more drunk. Or as you're more intoxicated. So this, this I would say for an end of the night drink. But I'm definitely not going to be returning to this bottle. Once this is gone, definitely not ordering another one. Um, and this is a probably a super unpopular opinion. But again, you know, that's why I'm doing this. If you agree or you disagree with me, don't forget to let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know what you all think. And honestly, that was an, as honest as an honest review as I could have given. So, I'll see you all soon. Peace. Yeah.